Alright, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the second video on the Nissan LEAF infotainment system, and by that I mean the central console, which can barely be considered anything according to modern times, and then the driver's display. Interestingly, because this is an older generation car, the more info-heavy display screen is in front of the driver, and the media controls are quite rudimentary. I guess we can start with the heavy sort of driver's display. So just turning on the lights in the cabin, you have your media, your driver's display controls all on this side, and then your cruise controls on that side with the horn on the center. And then you use these toggles on the left, a back and a select on the left hand side to toggle through the menu. So looking at the menu, you have a state of charge basically display and then you have a media display. Your center console can be connected via auxiliary port if your phone still has a headphone jack in 2024, an iPod connection, a Bluetooth connection, and there is even a CD player on this. I don't see that at all these days. And then you have your live graph of kilometer per kilowatt hour consumption by time. So zero to about an hour's worth of consumption displayed there. The next screen is your speed dial basically. It just shows you how fast you're going. And then finally we have the vehicle settings here. So for vehicle settings you have your ESP settings that you can turn on or off. Your driver's assistance settings, a timer alert, a low temperature, a chassis control, so traction control, and then an e-pedal mode, memory mode. Your customized display for your main menu can be in different ways, different layouts, and then you have an eco info settings about what you want to see, whether you want to see it or not. And then you also have a welcome effect here. And this welcome effect is basically your gauges and animation. I'll probably show that in the full review. You have a vehicle settings now, which is basically your lighting, your locking, and your wipers, whether you want it speed dependent or not. And you have your EV settings, whether you want your charge connector locked or unlocked, your charger timers, and then your climate control timers. You also have a reminder for your maintenance of tires, like in how many uh, kilometers, and then your other, depends on, I guess, Nissan Nepal have recommended every 5,000 kilometers or every four or five months of driving, but it might be abroad, different abroad. And then you have your clock settings, which can be changed via this, according to this instruction. And then you have a unit and language for distance and energy. I will switch it to kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. And then you have temperature, either centigrade or Fahrenheit and then language settings which I don't want to change also a factory reset and that is your vehicle settings and we are back to the home screen your range is displayed the amount of power I guess this is your economy mode your e-pedal can be turned on and off and then your eco mode can be turned on and off. You also have your odometer here, which can be changed. This is your car's complete odometer, and this is your trip A, and then this is your trip B, and you can reset those. And then you have your time, you have your temperature of 
the outside and then you have a physical um, speedometer on the right hand side so that's pretty much it the car is on charge right now in a level 2 fast I bet 6 or 7 kilowatt AC charger and so we're slowly putting in some juice in the car while I take this video and then I just want to show you the layout of this cabin the media controls are here it's a very small outdated sort of digital media player but it does do the trick you won't have sat nav or anything on this but it does give you the connectivity you want you do have buttons for like seat heating your auxiliary port goes here your car power on off here gear lever here your ac controls are here which is a very nice touch um fan speed here on the right hand side temperature on the left hand side and then the ac on and off button here or the heat on and off button here and mode for your direction off and then you have your defoggers at the front and back and air circulation so i'm going to turn that off right now and i'm also going to turn off these lights at the moment and continue with the media so it's a cd player i don't have any cds with me right now i wish i did <laughs> uh, you have am and fm modes you have a cd mode and then you have a media mode that can be toggled via auxiliary an ipod connection or a bluetooth connection i have my phone which is an iphone connected via bluetooth here where i'm playing the songs on spotify you can seek track changes here your ipod menu here and a back menu here you can also scan stations here and then this is your preset menu this car is giving me like proper flashbacks to one of my earlier cars where i had a very similar media control system and then you have your settings if you press this button so your bass control your treble your balance your fade your contrast of the screen your clock your time your rds display your screen clock auxiliary volume speed sensitive volume depending on how fast you're going if you want the speed to be lowered auto source change yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> there is really not much to this um cars and then you have on and off button this is also your volume rocker by the way and it says three and four are your play and pause buttons yeah <laughs> anyway so this is it for the infotainment bit on this car Your driver's display contains most of the information, like your charge times here. It's charging at 3 kilowatts apparently at the moment. So it's going to take 2 hours to 75% and holds 6.5 hours for 100%. Your battery temperature is also displayed and then your battery capacity is displayed. And then media controls and then your consumption more information and then your vehicle settings there's also a exclamation sign there in case there are any notifications that come up on the car but that's pretty much it it's very functional sort of cabin that seems to do the trick anyway if you have any other questions or comments just drop one below and i will see you on the next one